Welcome back to the Big Board. We're looking at the uh, maps for DAC. And as you can see, we are uh, packing her up and getting her done, as they say in the South. I had a fabulous time uh, playing and uh, probably the most involved and uh, detailed game I've played in a long time. Uh, that's the weather chart there. And you know, it, uh, it's really, really good and I'm really kind of uh, disappointed that I'm packing it up. But uh, it's, it's time, you know. It, the game was getting uh, a little out of hand in terms of the things I was needing to do and uh, redo because of uh, you know, fundamental mistakes by the Commonwealth player, which is me. And then, uh, you know, they, those things uh, had the potential to compound out of control, I think. So we're, uh, you know, we're packing it up. Now, I, I'm disappointed because I really did want to see uh, the 21st Panzer get on the board and, uh, you know, get to play with them in October. Uh, the British were in a situation where they had uh, they were locked out of Mercer, which is uh, underneath the counters here. You can see I didn't uh, I didn't get finished punching. I punched as I needed for this one. Um, just kind of the way I decided to do it. Where is Mercer? Right here, tiny little place right there. Uh, they got locked up in there with the headquarters in there. There are uh, four T of trucks stuck in there and all the uh, uh, attached trucking was outside and very little of the attached forces were uh, uh, outside. So uh, it was a situation where I really couldn't move any SP anywhere. I could move them by rail and that was about it. And it was causing all sorts of problems and got convoluted and I started flying T into Mercer and that all worked for a little while, but uh, once uh, 5th of September came around, uh, we started getting attrition losses on a, a stack, a separate stack that was surrounded. And uh, I noted at the bottom of the attrition table that uh, it says, it says right here, you know, there's a die roll modifier if there's more than three steps in the hex. Well, you know, we, we for sure had that. And so that was two turns that uh, the, you know, the British had got to skate. So I went back and re-rolled and fair enough, there was a couple more losses. So, you know, by this time we're starting to, the, the um, maybe I don't know whether it was the game fatigue or just I'm tired, but it seems like we're making a lot of mistakes and the situation was starting to become completely untenable for, for the Commonwealth player in any case. Uh, this is game. This game is that big and, and that much fun that if you know if I could get someone to come and play this with me sometime, I think this is the game. This is the game I would pull out for them to play to learn OCS, and start with a smaller scenario. Where, you know something over on the uh, Mussolini line over there, and uh, you know have them try and take to Brook or whatever the case may be. But then play the campaign game, and uh, and see what happens in forty two. You know we got. Uh, we got all the way through 81 odd turns of the game, but there's still uh, at least that and more uh, to go uh, if you were to play it all the way through to November 42. So anyway, uh, this kind of wraps up our uh, play at Act 2, our second play, in fact, and this will uh, be the one that we'll be logging for our chronological play of World War II. The next thing we'll be doing in the World War II uh, chronological plays is... Another Europa title, we'll be playing uh, the Balkan campaign, and uh, that's going to be interesting in of itself. It's got some pretty cool rules in it for the politics and uh, the entry of uh, various factions and forces, so that'll be uh, fun. Look forward to playing that with you guys. Cheers.